Hey, Carbon Kings, let's talk about this Compact Logics L33 ER PLC. On the left hand side here, we have the run light. All right, below that, we have the force light, and it's off. It's letting us know that there's no forces in the program, and the IO green light and the OK light. So everything's good here. Okay, on the right hand side of the L33 ER, we also have the communication lights. All right, so you want to make sure that those are green as well. Okay. Now we have the USB program terminal port. So I'm going to circle that. Now, again, you can program the PLC from right here. It's point to point. No need to mess with Ethernet IP addressing. So you don't have to worry about how many nodes are on the network or what the IP address is. You can just jump right in. All right, the CPU is in the left-hand side here. Now we're going to talk about the AC input card on slot one. So right at the top there, it lets you know that this is an AC input card, and it's rated for... 115 volts alternating current all right so you don't got to worry about putting 115 to this card it's rated for it and same thing for the card next to it 115 vac and that's in slot two so you'll notice the cpus uh, slot zero the input cards are now slot one and two okay here we have the input status lights look at that input lights now it's a base uh, base eight number system, so it's zero to seven for the first eight inputs and eight to 15 for the next eight inputs, okay? All right, so here you'll see zero, slot one, channel zero is off. That means there's no voltage present at the input terminal, so there's not 115 volts there. All right, and then you'll see here slot one, channel four, the light's on. So that means there is voltage present at the input terminal. So kind of a way to help you troubleshoot a little bit without getting online. Okay, down here we have an ethernet plugin. Now that's going to be most likely for the HMI or headed over to some Ethernet switch or something like that. So when you see this processor or one with a similar drop in, make sure you get that USB cable, go to Best Buy or somewhere like that. It's really easy. It's the same USB cable that you'll run from a laptop to a printer. Buy one and use it and go point to point and don't worry about IP addressing anymore. Pretty sweet. All right, guys, I hope this helps you out a little bit. See you on the next one.